My name is Ricky. Today we're going to make gluten-free chocolate cupcakes with Grandma today. Ricky and I are going to be using the Betty Crocker's Devil Foods gluten-free cake mix. It is a 15 ounce size container. So you ready to get baking, Ricky? Yeah! Alright, let's get started. Okay, we're going to use our KitchenAid mixer. First we're going to dump in the cupcake mix. Go ahead, Ricky. Put in the chocolate mix. Okay. Grandma's going to add one stick of softened butter. And now Ricky will add some water. Good job. Alrighty. And three eggs. Okay. So I'll put the eggs in. Put the eggs in. All right, now we're going to put it into the mixer. Okay, Ricky's turn. Whoops. <laughs> not, not that high, Ricky. Okay. <laughs> All right, so we're going to turn it on low for 30 seconds. Okay, now you can turn it up a little bit. Where? Just a little bit more. Maybe one more notch. Okay, I'm going to let this go for two minutes. <laughs> Gee, that's okay, a little chocolatey mother ball, right? No big deal. What are you doing, Ricky? Putting the cupcake cups in. All right, great. We're going to need 12 of them, all right? Yeah. It smells yummy. Oh, good. Here's what the batter looks like. And we got all the cupcake liners in, and the oven has been preheated to 325 degrees. We got the 12 muffins and had a little bit of extra, so I poured it into a ramekin dish that I sprayed with some cooking spray. So into the oven these go. The cupcakes took 22 minutes to bake. Insert a toothpick into the center. When it comes out clean, it's done. My ramekin dish is going to take longer to cook because it's deeper. So I'm gonna let these cool for about five to 10 minutes before I remove them from the pan. Now we're gonna put the frosting on the chocolate cupcakes. The, the frosting is the same color as my shorts. It is. And what color is that? Orange. Yeah, it's a very bright orange. Okay, why don't you try putting some frosting on? Yeah. Okay. You get some more frosting out of this. Yep. And spread it around. Okay, not too hard. You don't want it to rip apart. Okay, so let's, let's put a little more on there. I'll get the sprinkles. And you can put some sprinkles on, okay? And Grandma will keep on frosting. How's that? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so you should get enough sprinkles for all the cupcakes. Is it going to be delicious, huh? Yeah, so delicious. Looks like Halloween, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. All right. So here are our cupcakes, everybody. Gluten-free chocolate cupcakes. We're all done. They look terrific, buddy. Mommy and Daddy and Lily are going to love them, huh? I'm going to send these home with you. Okay, guys, I hope everybody had a great day. Thanks for spending with us. Bye. Bye. I forgot to get a video clip of Ricky trying out the cupcake last night, but he really did enjoy it. I sent the rest of the cupcakes home with him, and I kept the one that I cooked in the ramekin dish. These are nice and moist, and they taste wonderful. They're really chocolatey, and they're really easy to make. So if you're looking for a quick mix to make some cupcakes on um, Betty Crocker's mix is really good. Have a great day everybody. We'll see you in the next video. And bye. Love you.